Welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm your host, Eric Smith, and if you have a Coleman or Fleetwood that has one of these storage boxes and you want to take it off your camper, let me show you how to do it. Today's camper is a 2003 Cheyenne, and it has one of the front storage boxes that are prone to leak if they develop cracks in the top deck. And this one has. We can see where water has been getting in and rotted out the floor underneath. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the steps how this system comes off. We're gonna replace with this front body panel. The battery's already off the camper, so next we're gonna remove the LP cover and the LP and disconnect the propane. So flathead screwdriver takes this system off. Use gloves for the wing nuts on the bottom of the J-hooks for your LP bottle. Disconnect the high pressure line and the low pressure line from the regulator now. Now with a 516 socket, remove the regulator bounty bolts. This one has two up top and two on the bottom. With the electric and the LP safely off the camper, now it's time to start removal of the box. The first step is to remove the reinforcement plate that runs the length underneath the deck. And it's typically in two sections. And with this camper, the wood was so rotten on this side that it actually just fell off. Now we'll remove the cargo light and the 12 volt power just going to it. We have other lighting for the marker lights that we're gonna need, so we just wanted to disconnect the power to this. We have a channel bracket in here to remove Phillips head screws. The next step is going to be removal of the lid and deck assembly. To do this, we're going to remove the fasteners along the front, along the sides, and underneath the roof line here. So we're going to raise the roof. And you're going to notice this unit doesn't have any canvas in it. This is another project camper. Canvas was in pretty rough shape. The roof needs some work. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it yet, but first we're going to take the storage box off. So raise the roof to a comfortable height. And start removing the fasteners. We're going to remove the bed slide caps. Now at this step, the lid and deck assembly is about ready to come off. Here you want to take a 501 or a pry tool and just try to find what's tight and if you can loosen it up. And we'll start with this top rail here. It feels pretty good on that side. And that's good. On these sides, there's a commonly double-sided tape that if it doesn't want to come right off, a heat gun is your best friend. And this one's no exception. The front, pretty loose. Let's heat these sides up. Heat it up nice and slow and evenly. And I continue to feel spots. Make sure I'm not getting it too hot.
The next step will be to disconnect the 12 volt lighting to the marker lights. So we'll go ahead and undo these connectors that are powering the 12 volt switch inside for the cargo light that was inside the box. And we'll cut these marker lights right here where the connector was. And we got one more hot wire that was just feeding power to light up that switch on the inside. And <laughs> these are the worst cutters ever. And we'll just go ahead and cap this guy. And unplug the switch. Moving to the sides, there's a series of rivets that are riveted the wood section behind this plastic panel to a right angle reinforcement bracket that built this corner. We want to leave that bracket in place and we're going to build onto it to frame up for our new body panel. So here we're going to peel this panel back, drill those rivets, and then remove this whole section. These latches are a pain when the boxes swell like this with water intrusion because they're bolted right to the inside with flat washers and lock nuts and the swell of wood wraps around the nuts making them hard to get tools onto. So we'll open this panel up and there are staples back here. So I got gloves on. Peel this side back, we have brackets here for the baggage door that don't need to come off. So Phillips heads on the front and 3 8 nuts on the back. Remove these. Front comes off next, so we'll remove these brackets that are holding the front panel to the floor. Here at this step, you want to remove any leftover framing, like this up here. Uh, we want to go ahead and cut the vinyl with a razor knife, uh, remove that, remove that white transition strip that's um, right in front of that uh, interior panel there, and uh, prep for removal of the floor. At this step, look for any fasteners that are still holding it to the frame. The Phillips head screws that you might find, those are going right into the frame. You can probably get those out. The carriage bolts, you probably won't be able to. When the floor is this rotten, we should be able to break right past those and just cut those off. Underneath the front of the camper, check and see if any LP lines are clamped to the floor, and they are. Remove these clamps.
Next, we're going to cut off any remaining fasteners. Eye protection and hearing protection for this job. It's time to move this bed a little bit out of the way. So we're gonna remove the bed stop end caps on this front bed and push it into the camper some to give us better access to the top. First pull the bed out, then push the rails in till we see these black caps. Slide your bed back in front of the hole. Now allow us to remove this bolt and nut and this cap. And the bolt won't come out of the hole behind it. So pry the bed rail away a little bit. Push it out, remove the cap. Pull the rear bed out some, push the front bed in. Now I've set in place some three quarter inch by three quarter inch lumber that I've cut to size. So I'm going on the side, across the top and down along that side. For the bottom, you don't need any of this. The body panel will attach right to the bottom of the frame on this camper. We'll go ahead and take these guys off and put some brackets on them and get them ready to stall. With these side ones, we'll use these angle brackets that we left on to attach here. You wanna make sure your top is flush and clamp it into place. Make sure your screws are shorter than your interior panel. Install the brackets. And install the sides. We're almost ready to put the body panel on. First, we have to do some modifications. We have to install some amber marker lights on the sides and the front of this panel. So I've made some preliminary measurements and made some marks to match the pattern from the back of the camper. And we're also gonna to need to um, notch the bottom in at least two spots to accommodate for the frame set up up front. Now, if you're putting on a new storage box that already has lighting incorporated into it, you can completely skip this step. All right, time to put our lighting harness into the panel. And here's a tip. When I removed the old harness, I pulled all the light plugs out. So we're just gonna feed these back through the holes and it's a lot less connections to remake. And install your marker lights. Now in this particular camper, we're gonna to have to notch this body panel right about here to accommodate for this frame. And this bottom lip needs to install under this channel. So we get about lined up and just give it a little snip. At this step before you put your panel back on, make sure that you have your, your lights hooked up properly. Yeah, I've got my seven way jumped with a little wire, plug in a battery, and we're good. Time to put the new panel on the camper. So start with the top corner and the opposite corner. Bottom. 
and we want to make sure we're pulling the bottom of it underneath the uh, bracket here at the frame. The sides go behind the metal. There's a rolled lip on the side of these body panels that the plastic panels fit into. All right, that got it. Next, I'll install some cap tape to the uh, top of this transition strip that installs to the top of the body panel. You can use cap tape, you can use butyl tape, putty tape, just something to help make it waterproof for the installation hardware. And reinstall our hardware. And now our bed slide caps and bed slide ramps. Square caps go on the end and the wedges go in the middle. Now we want to go ahead and silicone the front leading edge of this. I'm using exterior grade pure silicone. You can use whatever you're comfortable with. So run a bead right along the front. transition caps I did pry up a little bit so we'll just set these back down and then we'll caulk these as well. Put on some eye protection, go underneath the camper, and install screws to the bottom. All right, now we'll put our bed back together and reinstall your caps. Proper orientation for installation is this goes to the inside. And this job is done. Now, you might be wondering how long will this really take me? Uh, about a weekend. Weekend doing it yourself a little bit faster with a couple more people. But now you're empowered with the steps to properly take the whole system apart and replace with one of our panels. I'll add links to, to the panel in the description below for the one I used on this camper. Or you can make your own. Frame one out, skin it with some exterior grade solution and install it onto the front of your camper. It leaves you all this available space to add another storage box, uh, cargo management system, a whole bunch of LP tanks, whatever you want. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, mash that notification bell to be alerted when more content like this is available, and I will see you guys at the campground.